Well, guys, last episode didn't go perfectly for me, let's just say that. Um, yeah, I died, I lost all my stuff, but I kind of planned for the case for die, so I, you know, I have, I still didn't lose too many important things, and I didn't lose my best armor. It all came down to me forgetting a shield. Next time, we won't make that mistake, but, uh, yeah, today I've got a few plans. We're going to be remodeling Tom's base a bit, all sorts of stuff like that. So, yeah, welcome back to Friend or Foe. So yeah, as you can see, I've still got this sword, you know, I didn't lose that. I've still got my best armor as well. Look at this, um, I've got my light trim, my, yeah, I've got, I've got loads of stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with all of that. And I've also gone ahead and made these stairs that go all the way down to my strip mine at the bottom. So th that ladder would take you straight down, but I've made it so that these go down like this spiral thing. I'm going to add actual stairs at some point, um, as well as like a bunch of other things, I think. Um, yeah, like uh, stairs and I'm going to make these walls nice and all sorts of stuff like that to do. Just haven't got around to it yet, you know, it's a pretty big job. Uh, what else? So yeah, uh, as you can see, I kind of went straight through the armor room here. I, I think I'm going to rebuild this somewhere else. That's the plan, okay? Or, or, or build an armor room of some sort. And then through here, we have got uh, Tom's base. So we can go in here and... Fred! What? Uh, an emerald block. Fred, what are you doing? Fred, 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 what, what on earth are you doing here? Uh. What? No, 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 no. I bought this base. Fred, what on earth? I bought this base with my Tom's and You did not buy this base. And he's moved in with his emerald blocks and everything. Fred, well, welcome to the series, I suppose, Fred. Welcome to, to friend or foe. You're not, you're not supposed to be here, but you know what? Now you're here, I guess I better make you welcome. This is not your room, all right? Um, Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build you a much... I guess I'll build him a room. I, I, I'll make Fred a bedroom. Yeah, you can't say no to that, can you? Okay, um, I'm gonna need some resources for this then. Um, now, we all know that Fred likes green. He likes lime green, he likes emeralds and stuff. So maybe if I have some wool, I could do something there. I need some white wool. Uh, can you dye... Now, here's an interesting analogy. Can you dye carpet? Uh, the question on everybody's mind, okay? I don't think you can. That's my answer, okay? But if you can, wouldn't it be an awesome thing? No, you can't. I didn't think so. You can dye wool, I know that much, but you cannot dye carpet. I, I was thinking, yeah, and I need white. I don't know where I'm going to find this white wool either. PvP's on. <gasps> Careful, SP. I panicked there for a second, and then I <laughs> realized there's no one else online. We weren't all free at the same time, so that's why I'm doing this solo. Yeah, I need to find some stuff. Um, As far as getting, like, green wool, I, well, I have, like, seven white wool. That's, that's not going to be enough. Yeah, let's go and grab, um, let's see. I'm on, I'm, so I'm going to go mine and get some dark oak wood, possibly some wool. And I need some green dye as well. Okay, that I can do. Alright, so first things first, we need to go to a desert to get some cactuses, which means that we gotta go, I think, in this direction. Oh, there's me, Paul. Paul, the, if you're above the nether, you go there, but it, it'll take you below the nether. Yeah, just get used to it. It's complicated, I know. Right, so, yeah, somewhere over here, I do believe, is uh, there is a desert. I think it might be a little way, though. We might be a little bit, uh, struggling a little bit to find... Um, uh, to find some cactus, but when we get there, I'll get there eventually. I've got I've got plenty of time. I see a light down now. I'm going down to investigate. You know what? You just can't say no to investigating a light, can you? What is it? Can I? Oh, okay. I wasn't really ready for that. Okay, we're, we're on the bottom on the bottom of the sea. What is down here? It's an abandoned mine shaft. Well, I never. It's not somewhere you expect to find abandoned mine shaft. I'm, I'm going to just have a little look around. What's this? A creeper? You don't stand a chance. But well, what are you doing here as well? Okay, get out of here. You, uh, you, uh, you are the. Okay, there goes the uh, the creeper blowing up him. I have my totem of undying, so death is basically impossible. I I'll find a way, knowing me, but it it's unlikely. Uh, I, I am a little bit short now, and you know what? While we're here, we'll do some mining. I don't know if this is, like, the full extent of the abandoned mine shaft, or if there's more to it and everything, but, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't see the way. Oh, oh, the here we go. Here's the rest of the mine shaft. I just... I the main reason I want to just check this out, and it wasn't exactly... Uh, nothing in this episode is really planned, as you've probably been able to gather, but... The, uh, the main idea of, uh, well, the main idea I want to do is because I could possibly find some loot, and in that loot I could find an enchanted golden apple. I'm going to go and carry this around, actually. I'm going to switch out the elytra and put on this chest plate, okay. Yeah, I'd like to find an enchanted golden apple if, if possible, because obviously you can only find them. You can't uh, mine them. So, you know, using them in combat, very, very useful indeed, let's be honest. You're never going to die on an enchanted golden apple, are you? Um, so, yeah, if I find one of them, that'll be a big bonus. I've collected two so far. I found one, and then I got one off Tom, which <laughs> was pretty awesome. I can't believe he lost it. I don't know why I brought it into battle, to be honest, but there you go. That's another story. So, 
Yeah, against the odds, we're uh, exploring an abandoned mineshaft. I'm gonna be honest, I think I've fully explored this abandoned mineshaft. Like, I think there's gonna be another area to it, but I'd have to do some mining around to find it and stuff, and I don't wanna be messing about with that, all right? We, we we came, we found, you know, a nice little bit of a an abandoned mineshaft. Oh, we got some more iron there. Um, I think I think now what we do is we just get back to where we were, we carry on, you know, going for the, 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 the cactus, okay? Because, um, yeah, we got a little bit. A little bit distracted. This is a slightly awkward situation because I can't use my elytra until I like stand on a block. But I can't place a block unless I place it on the seabed. So I'm going to go all the way over there just so I could use my elytra. Here we go. So back there was the woodland mansion place. And here we have the place where we can find the cacti, okay? Or cactuses. Both are correct, in in interestingly. Because I have Googled it since people have pulled me up. I I've been saying cactuses or cacti and people are like, No, it's cacti, SB. You're wrong. And then... Um, I, I, yeah, so I googled it just to make sure that I would always be right. That's, <laughs> that's the secret to success, ladies and gentlemen. When you don't know something, just google it and, and then you, you always seem to be right. Alright, anyway, I'm getting this, uh, this cactus. I, I need to find some sheep, but it, it just uh, hit me that finding sheep is probably an unlikely uh, thing to happen in a desert. I could be proved wrong, alright, but so far the only thing I've found here are rabbits. So, let's go and grab... How, how, how much have we got now? Okay, I don't need lily pads. We've got 14, you know what? Okay, I, I, wanted, I, I don't think I need this many, to be honest. I wasn't really planning to have this many, so I'm going to go and make this into bone meal. We need to make... We, well, we need to cook these, okay? That's the one thing that needs to be done um, on a furnace. And then we can make them into cactus green. And from there, we can get all the sheep we need and, uh, and diamond and everything. So that's the plan. I've got... I brought shears as well. I'm not going to be murderously taking out these sheep. I'm going to be very kind. So let's, let's just throw away, like, all the, the junk that we have. We have a lot of junk, let's be honest. Okay, um... That looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I didn't really clean out my inventory before I came. I think that was one big mistake. I also need a lot of dark oak wood. I think I'd like to use dark oak wood on Fred's bedroom as well. So we're going to mine away. If we mine away an entire tree, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's a, it's a bit of a big ask. But if we do it, we then go ahead and get like some apples from it as well. I th well, possibly. You know, whilst I have, fall down a hole. Whilst I have plenty of apples, it, it I think it's still a good idea to, um, just to have more, basically. I, I don't think you can have too many. I don't think so. Uh, I, my main way from getting apples has been trading with villagers, which, to be honest, has been a bit of an easier way to do things. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, you can't say no, can you, to, to extra apples. I don't think it's going to drop it anyway. I see him despawning, but it's probably not going to drop any. Now, I need to pick up all this wood. I don't want to mine it for, you know, as a charity. You know, we're not a charitable organization. We, uh, we, we do it that way. Okay. Now, I've just realized that it's going to be harder than I thought to get cobble. Because look, I'm going to be collecting stone because when with my pickaxe, it doesn't mine cobble, if that makes sense. So this is more of a challenge than I thought. Now then, what are we going to have to do to get around this? I think what I'm going to do is just when you have too good of a pickaxe, you want cobblestone, but you, you, you can't get it, basically. So I have somehow got four pieces of cobblestone, so we'll go ahead and put those. I've got sticks on me. I don't know why, but we have. Okay, perfect. So then what we do is we mine the cobblestone with these boring old stone pickaxe. All right, we'll just dig straight down. We're not straight down. We never dig straight down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but dig in a nice, safe staircase fashion. And of course, I find gravel. Not stone, but gravel. Okay, there we go. There's, there's stone right beneath it. Good. All right, so now I need eight to make a furnace. This is basics of Minecraft. It's like going back to the beginning. How long have we been doing this series? And now here I am crafting a furnace. Y you know, some things just... I think that's a great thing. You know, I want to make that a staircase. You know, this is a nice little home, some would say. Torch as well. <laughs> it's official. It's officially a home for somebody. And there's sheep waiting right in front of me. This is perfect. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't get any coal, did I? In that? Uh, it's surprising to go to an abandoned mine shaft and not get coal. So put that in there. Uh, we'll put some wood in there. We can just go and get a bunch more. Did I really get 40? I must have had some of that wood on me. You would have thought. Because no way I got 40 from one tree. It's possible, I suppose. I mean, that's that's some serious mine. I kind of want to get more now because I'm using it to smell. Uh, so we're going to do this. Just while that's cooking, we'll just get a few. I'm not going to... Well, I don't think I'm going to take out the whole tree. It's not impossible. Although you do get a lot. It doesn't surprise me to get 40, actually. It's possible, you know. Some would say probable. Some would say very likely indeed. Well, we might as well grab it all now. I've come this fine. It's a very good axe. Have you noticed? It's actually going to break. <laughs> Just he's saying that. It's on its way out. Yeah, it's it served a good life. It has mined many a tree in its time. I could repair it. I want to make a diamond axe next, to be honest. I think, I think I'm past the iron tool stage. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so we've got some cactus green here. We'll just wait for one more. Okay, I've got six bone meal, so I'll probably... Uh, do this. So six and we're going to make lime green. Let's grab them. I'm going to need two more of these. So this is about to do. And then we've got those. We'll have 12 lime green in, in total, which should be uh, more than enough. And then we're going to use our shears on those sheep. Okay. So there. We'll, we'll leave the rest smelting as well. Because if I find some skeletons, then that's my bones sorted. Alrighty, sheep. Now then, I've also... Wow, there's a lot of you about. Right. 
Now then, you're just all going green. I hope you don't mind, but green is a great because a lot of cows as well. Now, cows, you may not be so lucky, I'm afraid. Yeah, I may have to um take you out. I'm very sorry, cows, but food is food. Now, you know, I've got plenty of food. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wow. Those sheep are just asking to get cooked over there. Okay, now what I need to do is I'm going to breed you and I'm going to shear you. So, you come over here and you go there. Okay, there we go. And then you... And you, look at that, the parrots and the bats. That's that's an achievement I've never got before. Look at that. Okay, you and you. Alrighty, perfect. Okay, let's do some shearing now. Let's get ourselves some water. Shearing is just a way better way to do it. I, I think it's the first time I've really, like, gone grinding for materials like wool. Obviously, I've got done it for other stuff, but to go out for wool, never done that before. I like the little uh, sound effect it has here as well. Listen to this. How satisfying that is. You've got to admit, that's a very satisfying sound. Okay, where are you? what are you doing all the way over here? You've got a you, you you've got a child and you're just going over there. What is that all about? Eh? Look at him. He's roaming about. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are, little baby. Okay. Let me grab you. I do believe if I give you loads of wheat, you'll grow faster. So right, I'm just gonna keep going for it. I don't know if you can max it out or not. I've just given you way too much wheat. Are you kidding? <laughs> what about you? Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go and get these guys now. Okay. I'm gonna go and. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm. I am. I'm gonna be honest. I have no bucket of water either, but. I am very worried that one of you is going to walk into this fire. Please, please don't. Okay, you go like that and like that. No, I I'm afraid that th there doesn't seem to be any sheep left. Oh, there's one over it. And there's a few over here if you want them. Okay, and I'm going to be able to get some skeletons now. This is perfect. Okay, now then, you you're going to have to come over here, I'm afraid. Wow, they follow you quite well, to be honest. Alrighty. You over here. And then you. Which one is it? It's you. There we go. I have found the love of your life. There you go. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I placed a torch right on you. Don't get burned. Did I just hear a creeper there? No, I didn't. I think it was Mishia's. Mishia's make a strange noise. No, I mean, a cool noise. Right, anyway, how much wool have we got? Have we got enough for Fred's bedroom yet? 22. Is that it? I've been slaving away all night and I've only got 22. Okay, you've grown yours back. Good. Maybe these over here will have grown their back. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to be sparing on the green wool. I think that's the secret to this. I'll just make a little carpet from us. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to build his bedroom. Uh, but we'll work something out. I'll probably come back and the house will be burnt down or something. You know what Fred's like. Okay, let's just eat this. The sheep eating all the grass as well. If somebody's going to come here and they're just going to find loads of green sheep and they're, they're going to have no idea what went on here either. They, they'll have no clue what really happened in the green sheep forest. This is what this place will be known as. Okay. I could keep going back and forth all day. Look at that. Every time they eat grass, they grow it back. So as long as they've got grass, they'll keep growing. Okay. Oh, go on then. I, I want to just go home. Please stop eating grass and stop hiding grass. Okay. All right. Let's just grab a little bit more wool and then we'll head home and we'll build Fred a lovely bedroom. Okay. I hope that Fred has not wandered off too much. All right. If he's gone up these stairs, he could be anywhere. Okay. He stayed down here. Good, Fred. All right. I, I, I don't. It's not like I don't trust you or anything. No, no. I just want to make sure you're safe. All right. Don't you worry. Okay. Let me um go and put that there. All right. So I don't think this is your bedroom, to be honest. We, we should like make a room for you and that could be like your little bedroom because this. This place here, nah, this is not your room. Okay, let me let me find a place and I'll build you a nice little bedroom. So I'm thinking we build it in here. I think this is a nice little spot. What do you think, Fred, eh? I don't think he likes it. He was looking and then he said, was, when he saw that I was looking, he was like, nope, I'm not doing anything. All right. Um, yeah, I'm thinking nice little bedroom in here. Um, he's not going to be able to have a window, I'm afraid. We can we can create him a fake window if we want, like <laughs> a fake outside or something, just like a flower and some grass. He'll never know. He'll never know the difference. All right. So I'm thinking you go in. Yeah, you just, this this could work. You know, I'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger. Alrighty. And then I'm going to go and, I'm going to get him a green bed as well. I think a green bed is just what Fred would like. Um, I'm, do I put two beds? No, one bed's enough. You know what? He doesn't need two beds. Like, I could give him a nice little double bed though. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, so we've got all this green wool. We've got plenty of green wool now. This is perfect. So what we'll do is we'll dig out a little floor here. Uh, we'll do a little similar design to the one he actually has in my world, I reckon. A bit of a, a home from home kind of a thing. Um, so we'll go and put green wool like this. Okay. And then round the outside, what we can do is we can go and grab some of this dark oak wood, I'm thinking. All right, you'll see how I kind of envisage uh, this to be, envision, whatever. Uh, so let's go and grab, uh, yeah, we'll grab those 18. Okay, and I'm thinking if we just go straight up like this, okay. It's a different design, one I don't know if I've actually used personally before. So we'll see how it looks. We'll see what Fred, Ooh, that's not meant to be a torch. Although torches are important. Yeah, I think it, it looks nice. It's different. I think that's the, um, the secret to this, something that's different. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make like, Sort of like beams around, if that makes sense. So we'll dig out this, and then we'll yeah, we'll um we'll have all those, and then we'll have like oak planks as the wall bits. If that, Fred, you're not meant to stand in that. I'm trying to build. Oh, I nearly hit you. Sorry about that. I'm trying to build here, Fred, and you're just like stood in the wall. Okay, I'm not too sure about that. You know what? We'll worry about that in a bit. So yeah, something like this. 
Oops, I didn't mean to place that. Uh, what I meant to do was pick block. There we go. Okay, so that like that. That up there. There you go. You can kind of see how this is is all falling into place. Fred's little bedroom. Look at this. Now, this is this is really going to help me win friend up. You know, it's a supporter. It's a friend. You know, sometimes you just need a friend. The other people you could say have been foes to me in a lot of ways. Well, Fred, you're a friend. And that's the main thing. And I expect lots and lots of fish, even though I have a fish farm. Look, you don't even have to catch the fish. You can just go and get them from there. Look at that. That's perfect. All right. So I'm going to go and grab. I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to go and build... I think beams across what you're reckon? Yeah, that's nice, that is. I like it. It actually makes it look like it's a house almost inside it. Fred, you're going to have to move. I'm sorry. It, don't make me push you. You know what? I'm going to have to push you out of there. Don't know what it is with you standing in the way. You're worse than a dog. Yeah, yeah, I said it. You're no, I'm not even going to give you a chance to go in there either. I wouldn't put it past him just stand in the way on purpose. He always does it. Right, so we'll put a little beam there. And then we just got to put this beam in here. And then it's just the rest of the walls. Oh, PvP's on, Fred. Go on in, put him up. Let's go. No, I'm kidding. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking like some window, maybe a window here. What do you reckon? We put like, I'm thinking like grass blocks out here, maybe with like flowers. Then we just put like blue wool or concrete or something all there. I'm liking that. I'm liking that idea. And then obviously these bits are just going to be filled in with uh, uh, planks. So let's just go and grab, throw those away and we'll make a load of those. Okay, perfect. So we've got 64 of those. I've just lost them all. I've just put them all behind. Give me a second. Bear with me, Fred. Just mining. It's the first time I've done some real building. Yeah, well, not the first time, but first time in a while. I'll tell you what, this stone can go. And the polished andesite. Nobody needs that. Right. That all like that. There you go. Look at this. I think he's a great bedroom. Now, let me get these walls finished. I've made the decision. I'm thinking regular oak wood slabs. I mean, maybe birch wood, you could argue. But I started off with the dark oak and I decided it was just too much. You know, too too dark and boring and everything. So I'm thinking, nice little bit of oak wood just to, to brine it up a little bit, you know? Um... Add a bit of difference to it, because obviously I don't want it to be too dark of a room either. I've used, like, the same wood in three different ways already. So, yeah, something different for the roof, I think, is the uh, the right call here. Let's have a little look. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. It is very about dark in here as well, though. So, we're going to have a torch there, torch there. Like a torch. Uh, well, I've got this glowstone here. I'm thinking maybe if we go and grab the glowstone, we put a glowstone here. And then we go and put a glowstone here. Very similar to... It's like a similar but mixed up design to his one that he has in his, his house. What do you think? It, it, it looks all right to me, if you ask me. Um, I would maybe just get glowstone in there and there. Yeah, I want to get his beds. I want to get some grass blocks and some blue block of some sort. I don't know what it'll be exactly. Maybe, I and mean, if it can be concrete, it'll be concrete. But I don't think I have any concrete. So, or, or the dye for it. So, it might be something completely different. Um, it is whatever I can find. I also want to grab some bones when I think about it. Because I need to go... To this crafting table, you know, torches just get added everywhere nowadays, don't they? We'll go and uh, we'll go and do that. We'll make ourselves some nice lime green, and then what we can do is we can go ahead and dye this bed. I do believe you can dye beds. As you can see, you can 100% not dye beds. <laughs> Got that one wrong, didn't I? Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll just make two beds then. Fine. If we can't dye beds, which I'm sure you can do it on something or I'm, I'm sure you could die but well, obviously you can't uh, so i guess we'll just do that we have a spare bed lying around if anybody needs a spare bed for the night we can provide it all right so we'll go ahead and put that there and then we'll go ahead and do the same with that there we go he's got nice little double bed that's that's really good quality i think he's got to appreciate that i'm just going to grab a couple of these grass blocks as well i'll need two so we don't need to go too far with that and i'm also thinking a poppy and a birch sapling in that window i need some glass that's one thing I can get some glass panes. There we go. We just need... I don't know. How do you craft, craft glass panes? I think it's like this, isn't it? Yeah, it's like that. Okay, we'll grab those uh, bits there. Alrighty. Uh, so I've got that. I only need two of these, in fact. So let's just only bring two. I also... You know what? He has one emerald block. Let me let me give him another emerald block. You know what? Until I need it, he can look after it at least for me. <laughs> Can't say for sure that he'll be able to keep it. So there we go. Uh, we've got that. Do we have any more uh, oak wood? Oh, it's actually the perfect amount. I just want to make some doors. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves some doors. There we go. I'll just throw those to there for now. Otherwise, I don't have space. Right. I think we have everything we need to finish Fred. But what are you doing? Leaving. Nap, 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 nap. You're not going free roam of everywhere. If you go up there, you can go outside and anything could happen, Fred. I, I don't want you. I know what you, you're going to like. You'll end up trying to fight like Big B or something. I, I just know what Fred's like. Okay. So we'll go like that. There we go. We can uh, go and put a sign right about here. So let's go ahead and, and place a sign. Fred's bedroom. There we go. Uh, I, I'm thinking I'm either going to like mine out this wall or I'm going to place like stone and fill in all this wall. One or the other, but you won't be able to see all that wood on the outside. I'm thinking I might 
mine out the stone. I think it might look quite nice, actually. Um, so, yeah, we've got that. Let's go ahead and grab these two grass blocks. There we go. It looks very realistic. We're going to place lapis blocks in here. I don't know if I should really be doing this with lapis, but you know what? It doesn't matter. There we go. Yes, Fred, this is outside. Don't you? He's, he's watching me do it. You can't watch me, Fred. All right, I think he likes it. He's taken to his bedroom, hasn't he? <laughs> Look at that, Fred. I built you a bedroom. What do you think, Fred? Do you like it? What do you, what do you think? Give, give me a rating. Yeah. I'm glad you like it, Fred. I'm glad you like it indeed. It's, it's a work in progress. I might add some, maybe a bit of glowstone in there. Glowstone in there. I want to add some glowstone in each of these corners and uh, add those leaves. I'll be back, Fred. You, uh, you enjoy your room. I might add him some chests in there, maybe. Maybe an anvil, he is a blacksmith. I don't know, there's all sorts of things I could do. I got a lot of iron from that trip earlier, so I could definitely um, make something like that. Right, what did I come upstairs for? I came upstairs for glowstone. Do we have any? We have three up there. I think we have some more actually right at the top of these, this ladder. Uh, so let's have a little look in here. Yep, so one, two, three, four. So how many do I want to make? I think I want to make four, so that, that requires 16 of these, okay? So there we go, that's 16 of those. Let's go and grab that. Okay, a, a possible anvil? Could you say so? Well, we need to get the iron smelting in that case. We only have three iron right here. And apparently, I do have... I think I'm out of coal. There's no way I'm out of coal. I'm about to say I'm out of coal, but there's no possible way. I went mining and got enough... Why are we not using the furnace's full capabilities here? I'm not happy about that. Come on. We need... Uh, did I not take the inventory? There we go. Right, let's um, turn these into actual coal. Let's use the furnaces... Let's, let's use the coal in furnace rather than wood, okay? That's where all my wood went as well. I was looking for my wood earlier, like, where, where did it all go? I'm sure I had more than that, and yeah, now, now we know where it went. Okay, so we have iron. Yeah, we're not going to have enough to uh, to make what we need for him right now. We'll just drop down here, uh, and we'll we'll do bits with it. We'll do what we can here and there. So, hey, he's back out again. He's, he, he, he gets around us, Fred. At least he closes the door behind him. That's one good thing I like about Fred. He always closes the door behind him. All right, this could take some time. Fred, do you mind? Yeah, yes, I've taken it away. No, you'll see why. Look, he's always criticizing me. Jumping on top of it like, oh, what's this all about? It was here a second ago. I, I liked it better before. That's exactly the kind of thing Fred would say anyway. There you go. I'm sure you like that better now. Don't you tell me otherwise. All right, we're going to mine out these walls here. He's, he's looking horrified at me. <laughs> right, we're going to put a bit of glowstone there. And a bit of glowstone there. And you know what I'm thinking? Stone slabs on top of these corner bits. I think it's going to be perfect, all right? Once that's done, I will be finished with this 100%. Let's go to the crafting table and stone slab. Six stone slabs. That's more than enough. I only need four. You know, if it doesn't look good, we can we can change it back anyway. Okay, we're going to put that there. There we go. What are you looking? Yeah, the sign's here, Fred. Are you blind? <laughs> He's looking at the wall. You know, sometimes they like looking at walls. Don't question them. Yeah, you know. You know that this is perfect. Absolutely perfect, okay? Um, yeah, it looks like it's just nighttime outside. I think... This is, this is something to be proud of. You know what I am thinking? Just as a side thought. All right, if we mine away all this. All right, I hear Fred groaning now. Ah, oh, what are you doing now? <laughs> You've got to be a perfectionist, I say sometimes. All right, I'm thinking just to make it that little bit, you know, from good to brilliant. All right, go like this. And then you, would you put glowstone in the middle there? Or would you just go like that? I think we can go like that for now, can't we? And there you go. Or would you go like this? Uh, that's an interesting design choice. I might keep it. I might keep it. And Fred's just banging his head on the wall. What do you think, Fred? I've finished it now. Do you like your new room? Yeah. That's good news. I'm glad you like your new room, Fred. Okay. So, yeah, it's all complete. Fred has officially moved in to my base at Friend of. <laughs> so, obviously, I've got a lot of work to do on Tom's base, but Tom's old base, which is now my base. I've got a lot of work to uh, do on it to make it how I want it to look. But it's a great start. That's the first thing I've built down there. And uh, I definitely do not regret the purchase. And it's nice to have Fred with me as well. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get free fish now as well. But hopefully you did enjoy this episode of Friend Offer. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it. And also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do make daily videos. So yeah, as I said, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.